Hello, as you might or might not know, I'm not only interested in medieval fencing and sword fighting, but also medieval archery, especially using this, a crossbow. Uh, this one is very powerful, it has a draw weight of 350 LBS and was made by Todd's stuff. Um, I'm going to try and fire two different bolts on a traffic sign and see what the penetration actually is. I have two bolts, you can see them here. Uh, one of them is made by Todd's stuff. It's made of ash. It's uh, 44 grams, 41 centimeters in length, and has uh, feather fletching, which gives it a very nice flight. Uh, the other one is a bolt made by the Polish company, by a Polish gentleman named Matuls. It has a very heavy arrowhead on it, and uh, the, uh, it's made of uh, oak and has parchment fletching which is really interesting, because I actually have seen that in museums where the crossbow bolts had uh, the original medieval fletching on it, made of parchment. First off, we're going to try and shoot the bolt made by Todd's stuff. Now, as you can see, there it comes. Wait for it. Bang! Now, nice penetration, you can actually see the shaft flexing, and as it does so, it shoves the arrowhead in even further, but eventually it just bounces off, leaving a nice mark, an indentation. Next off, the heavier and smaller bolt made by Matuls, with the big warhead on it. Well, it's an arrowhead, but you know, you know what I mean. Now, this one just punches right in, but then the shaft actually comes off, the bolt breaks up into two, and you can actually see the uh, uh, arrowhead and the bolt coming apart, which is a shame. It actually knocks off my camera off the stand as well. In the end it gives uh, a bit less of penetration, probably because of the uh, bolt not being able to flex and giving that extra push, but when I stuck the arrows back into the holes, you can actually see that it was quite some penetration being made, and also some indentation, which is of course something that you can expect from aluminium, which is quite flexible. Um, but I was surprised by this. Um, I have seen lots of uh, videos of people shooting at traffic signs, stating that that is uh, very powerful and sturdy stuff, uh, but it actually went through quite nicely. I was surprised by this. Um, well, this bolt it went in almost uh, 15 millimeters, which is, you know, quite a distance. Uh, the smaller, heavier bolt went in almost just as deep. You can see here that I'm not actually giving my ruler in the right place, so I'm missing some stuff, uh, some distance on that measurement, which is actually more about uh, 1.5 or 2 centimeters, which is further, even though the bolt didn't actually get the uh, opportunity to flex and push in the point further because it well, came apart. Um, overall I'm very glad and happy with this bow, glad that I bought it, um, but I have some remarks. On the internet I did some studying before I actually bought one of these, and people were stating that these very powerful bows with 350 LBS draw weight would be able to shoot 300 yards. It doesn't, it, it shoots up to 150 yards. I'm no expert, but that's the most I can get out of it. And uh, the armor penetrating capabilities, well, you know, uh, 1.5, maybe 2 centimeters is not really enough to actually penetrate armor and kill you. So it might just be that medieval armor wasn't as easily penetrated as we are, you know, made to believe. Or maybe the bows they used were even more powerful. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. See you next time.